In this video, we're going to show you how to make motion matching interact with the animator controller or mechanism in Unity, which is the normal way of animating where you have an animator like you see right here with multiple states and you're just transitioning between them or using blend trees or whatever you like. We have an example in the released version that shows a kind of uh, older way, more direct way to do all of the changes that just uses MXM directly. But since then, we've actually added a lot of helper functions to the uh, main motion matching locomotion controller package that make this a lot easier to do. So we're just going to write it from scratch and we'll show you how to move back and forth between the animator controller and motion matching, as well as run both simultaneously using avatar masks. So we'll go to the configuration wizard. I'm just going to use the cowboy like I always do. I'll set up final IK just because I always do and I'll add a test camera to the scene. All right, so there's our character. And let's go ahead and just make it point in the camera. So we have our character. Under that, we have a, our model object, which has the animator in it. And this is the wrong animator because it's just the default one that comes with the model. So we'll go down and find the animator that we want, which is, let's see here, it's this chicken dance, and I'll walk briefly through what this one does. So this animator has these are all an, uh, Mixamo animations. You can pick whichever animations you like. This is the chicken dance. There's a cheering animation, a running man dancing animation, and a kicked in the midsection animation. And so we're going to write an example script that will transition between all of these, some with masks, some full body, and we'll show you how this will be toggle animator the new way. We'll go ahead and open that up. Okay, so there are a few things we're going to need. Obviously, we're going to want a reference to the animator. We're going to need an optional avatar mask. And we will additionally need a string of the wanted animator state, right? Or we'll just set that to null for now. Moreover, we'll want to know if we're in care. Yeah, we, we're going to care. So we'll have a whether the animator side is enabled. We'll set that to false because we're going to start in motion matching. First things first, we will get the animator component and that's it. So now in the update, oh, we'll also need a key press. So let's go ahead and just add, this is terrible structure, but we'll, that's fine. Um, activation key, we'll just set that to Q by default. And so using the old input system, get key down, activation key. So whenever they press the key, then we're going to want to do something. So if the animator isn't enabled, first things first, we're going to set the mask. And so we will need a, let's see here, private ng character object. And in start, well, I guess we have to tell it about three feet. So we have to add the using three feet at the top and then we'll get our character objects and that's going to be because he's in the object above obviously you would do something more robust or appropriate to your specific situation but I happen to know that that object is in the parent so if the animator is not enabled we will just set the controller mask and we'll set that to optional avatar mask. Now the good news is, unlike the the old way where we had to check to see if it was null and, and instantiated, that will all happen automatically. So you, if you want to clear out the mask, you can just pass null into this, uh, into this thing. Once that's done, we will then want to 
blend in the state. So we blend to the animator, and this takes a few. So the time to blend is 0.25, and whether or not we want to pause MXM while it's happening. So in this case, we're just always going to let MXM keep going, although with the full body avatar mask, like where you're just doing a true transition for compute efficiency and a whole bunch of other reasons, you really want to pause all of the motion matching and stop attempting to do things. So we'll let it take quarter second to transition, and we'll just say false so that we don't do anything. And then else, we're going to blend out of the air animator because the animator is already enabled, and this is a toggle key. So blend from animator, and the time to blend is fine. 0.25 is the default. And that's it. So we'll go back to and now we're back, we'll go ahead and go to our model object and we'll add this new script and we'll add three of them actually. Just assuming it's all going to work great the first time without any testing because that's, of course it will. And then let's see here. And for this one, since we know we have three states in the animator, let's get down here and, and talk about them real quick. So we have three states, so we're going to do a full body mask, and when it's full body, we'll go ahead and do this kicked in the mid section. So the name of that animator state is kicked, as you can see right there. Um, when we'll add an upper body mask here, so this is the arms and the head, and then we'll add a lower just legs mask. So you can see this isn't going to look good, but it's really just to prove the, prove the point. You would have to do whatever you wish to do. So we'll make him uh, perform the dancing animation and then the arms and the head will do chicken dance instead of cheering. So it's going to switch the state. If you leave it blank, it's just going to leave the end. Actually, I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but uh, we are not actually setting this state in the, I'm realizing we have a problem already. So one thing we're not doing is we're not paying attention to this wanted state. So let's see here. So if the if there's a string in there, if there's anything going on in there, we'll just do animator.play wanted state. Now, this is inefficient to use strings, but this is an example. We uh, had a minor problem. So let's go back to the animation script and set we gotta toggle that animator. And now, so sure enough, and now he'll come out of the thing. And then here's the lower body only. See how it won't. Go back, you'll notice every time it's resetting the avatar mask appropriately, and you get back to what you're, uh, what you're looking for. And that's it for this tutorial.